back. In this video, I will be discussing um, how often is it okay to breed your goats and at what age I recommend to wait till you start to breed for the first time. Let's start off with um, what age I recommend waiting to breed them for once um you have your those when when should you get your butt okay, so people often get their does and then once they get those dolans they're like all right they're in a rush to get the buckling and you know they want to raise them together they want to breed them at the same time but maybe just consider waiting a little bit just consider Wait until your dolans grow up a little bit because, you know, people are in a rush to get that buck. And, you know, it's just best to wait and wait till they're the right age. Once you get those dolans, um, you know, a lot of people breed them as young as seven months. And then they'll say, hey, they'll kid at one and they'll grow as they're pregnant, which... Okay, makes sense. Yeah. But just, oh my gosh. Just, um, maybe like, hey, don't buck me, boy. You know, just, um, kind of wait a little longer and let your dough actually grow before you breed them. Um, so my... Um, my vet recommends wait until they're two, and so that way your goats, you know, are full grown, and, um, <laughs> okay, so that way you know your goats are full grown, they're done growing, and it's a good time to breed them, but it is a lot to keep, you know, expensive to keep dry, goats for two and a half years because you know five months of um taking care of your pregnant goat and two years of raising them up seems like a lot right so what i um at seven months though your goat is still gonna be growing all it really depends on your breed but you know even for smaller or bigger goats it's best Tell they're a little bit older. Can you see? For me, I recommend you wait until they're one and a half years old. And the reason I wait at that age is perfect time to breed them because so one and a half years, in my opinion, is when if they're still growing, but they'll kid at two years old. So they'll kid it, breed them at one and a half. They'll kid it to, and that's great time because they'll be growing as they're pregnant, and then they'll kid it too. And a lot of people think my seven-month-old goat's already big, you know, it's um, it's done growing. Oh, and um, they think it's done growing, but you really, they can grow and grow fast, and then they can start to slow down. So you'll think they're done growing, but they're not. So you do need to um. It's better to wait till they're at least one and a half years old. So it is recommended to wait two years by my vet. But um, I bred my goats at one and a half, and they all kitted fine. Okay, so this girl's sugar was two when I bred her, though. But the which was healthier, but for rather two, two does. Um, oh my gosh, was one and a half, and so they were okay. This guy is a little nut. <laughs> so now for how often to breed them. I would definitely recommend not to breed any sooner than a year after they kid it. You know, you can milk your goat from one to seven years with a high production, really dependent on the breed. 
um, you know, ha how a good a milker they are. You know, some goats will slow down after, like, nine months. Um, for some breeds, like, low productive breeds, but other breeds can go high production for three years, then slow down after that. And then some, you know, can go even longer. And so you really, after you breed the first time, you don't have to worry about breeding for a while. But if you want um, to breed them, you know, because you to feed them, you might want to sell the kids to feed them, or you want more kids to breed for, you know, more goats, or you just want some fun, more fun, playful goats every year. That's fine too. Um, so you can breed them every year, but if you breed them every single year, that is going to shorten their lifespan. So, um, so, you know, if you got a special goat and you just want her to have a long living life and you want her to be a nice retired goat eventually, it's best to do every other year or breed and skip a couple years or whatever there. Um, but people have bred their goats every year till they died. And that's, I mean, that's just not what I would do because I want, them, I want my goats to have a long, um, happy life. But people have done it. Um, so for breeding, one, you want to wait till at least once a year. People have bred every six months. What are the problems? Their goats seem to be fine as long as they're healthy, as long as they're not bony, as long as they're nice and chubby and you take care of them well during the pregnancy. They can be okay, but highly, highly recommend you wait once a year. Um, and another reason, another reason why you want to wait once a year is if you breed every six months, if you breed every seven months or less than a year, you're likely going to have a lot of single kids and it's not worth taking care of them, taking care of that pregnant goat, doing all that work into it. you got to give them their special diet and uh, it's just not worth trying to give that special diet when all you're going to get is single kids every time. So you want to wait at least once a year. That way you're getting, you're, if, if you're also another thing is if your goat's healthy, very chubby, and super good health weight, they haven't been bred too much, then you're probably going to get more twins or sometimes triplets, depending on the breed you got. And um, that's that's what you want. So, like, I definitely, yeah, wait at least once a year. But the longer you wait, the better. One thing is you don't want to wait too, uh, too long, obviously. Because when they get older, you want to slow down breeding and all that. But, um, yeah. The answer to the video, um, yeah. For first time breeding, I recommend one and a half, waiting one and a half years. Two years is better, but one and a half is recommended. And then, um, the other thing is waiting to at least one year. So we go Carmel kitted um so it's may right now last year she kitted in june she was supposed to be due after june she was not exposed to the buck but unfortunately my buck must have jumped the fence without me noticing because she ended up kitten in may so that was an accident she ended up being okay she was super healthy so it was okay because i fed her a special diet after she kitted last time because she lost a lot of weight um from the pregnancy and all that. She ended up being okay, but definitely wait at least one, at least one year if you want more kids and all that. And um, the healthier your goat is, the more kids you'll have too. So you want your goat nice and chubby, not ch not fat, not skinny, but you want good weight. Definitely make sure it's not fat. Your goat won't take if it's fat but don't want it skinny. Definitely don't want it skinny. You're gonna get a lot of singles and you might even lose your dough through the pregnancy. You might even lose it through trying to give birth and all that. So just be really careful. And I hope this was helpful. And uh, subscribe for more videos and let me know if you have any questions about this video. And um, 
you know, like, if you have absolutely any, um, any questions about breeding your goat, the ages or whatever, or if I didn't add something you were hoping to find in this video, let me know in the comments. Come get scratches. Oh my gosh! Honey, I'm telling you soon, so you have to come get scratches from Mama. here is a crazy hair eater. Aren't you, buddy? Okay. You want scratches, too? Alright. Stop eating my hair! Oh my goodness, you want the center of attention, huh? <laughs> yeah? You want scratches? Please don't eat my hair though. Please. Thank you.